guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry this message find you doing well if this is your very first time tuning in you have joined me on my digital journey I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day hello to my family and friends thank you for joining me on this digital journey thank you for your support and your words of encouragement today is actually day 247 247 episode 247 and what I'm going to be talking to you today about is extraordinary extraordinary I was doing my daily walk and I was just having a conversation with God and I was just you know say hey you know I'm in the coming to the end of my 30-day fast I want to know what is the next chapter what it is that you want from me you know what it is of my expectations of you just going back and forth and I heard the Holy Spirit said loud and clear that I am changing you moving you out of the ordinary to become extraordinary and I was like whoa okay um, I know I say my affirmations every day I'm not average I'm not mediocre I'm a child of the Most High God, and I will be all that God created me to be. But God, who begins a good work in us, he has to be the one that takes lead. He knows every step that we're taking. He knows every part of our journey. So he is the only one that can navigate us through the terrain, through the wilderness, through the high and the lows. Only God can do that. If you think that you can do it by yourself, I'm going to say to you again, you are sadly mistaken. It's not going to happen. Okay. So of course, you know me, I was like, okay, you know, thank you, God, because I am thankful just to be able to hear from him each and every day. Um, there are some people don't even know who Holy Spirit is. You just go through routine and just, that's just what their life is consist of. They do pray. But um, is it fervent prayers? Is it effective praying? Um, or they just go through the motions just because they know about prayer. But I just want you to know that you have to build this intimate relationship with God in order for him to be able to lay out the plans that he has for you. God is a master builder. He is an architect. But we as believers have to be willing participants. We have to be able to come up to him and say, yes, God. I am ready um, despite what it is that I'm gonna go through I trust you my scripture that he has written on my heart is Proverbs 3 verse 5 which is trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto my own understanding in all thy ways I acknowledge God and he surely directs my path each and every day this platform is a prime example of God just doing his work in me so let me find what it is that I wanted to discuss about uh, the scripture because everything that I do is scripture based. I want to show you the scripture um, and I just said it, but if you didn't know the scripture, it's actually Philippians chapter 1, 6 and it says, He who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. We're not trying to be perfect by no means. We just want God to give us the green light and say okay you are a person of excellence and God is shifting me from ordinary to the extraordinary and in that shift there's a lot of different um, situations that I have to encounter you know like I said the highs and the lows okay perfection isn't something that you should try to even try to attain okay it shouldn't be a goal for today or next week or whatever um, this journey that God has is a lifelong journey okay you're gonna see some things you're gonna hear some things you're gonna experience some things 
it is not easy okay i had an episode um, yesterday if you didn't have the opportunity to see it and it was called exhausting the fate walk is very exhausted if somebody tells you different mm, i don't know what walk they're walking but i can guarantee you jesus didn't have it easy you nor i are going to have it easy okay and extraordinary doesn't mean um that we're trying to be perfect okay if he said i'm moving you from the ordinary to the extraordinary it's just that it's a commandment um in pursuit of a leading with all our heart he knows your heart god is in the heart business he knows your heart he knows what you're thinking he knows what you're feeling that's why he, when he can say i'm shifting you from the ordinary to the extraordinary is that he's working on my heart and through these 30 days fast, I know that I'm not the same person that I was when I started it, okay? Because I'm maturing in Christ, okay? I know the difference, okay? I want to be able to be a leader, a teacher, someone to be able to say, I experienced this, this is what you should expect, and this is what you should be doing while you're going through whatever it is that you're going through. I just need you to know, God is love. God is fair. God is just. Whatever it is that he's asked you to do, just make a conscious decision to just go full throttle and decide to say, yes, God, I'm going to follow you all the way. Because the word of God proves true. And he is a shield to all of those who come to him for protection. So my question each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread. Mm -hmm.